How's it going, people? It's been an awesome day. You know what? And you know why? So I haven't done squat. I was like, you know, it's Friday. It's my last day off for spring break. I'm not working today. So I haven't touched my deer hunting blind, which means I'm going to have to do a lot of work to do tomorrow. But, you know, I've been falling behind making my videos and stuff. So I told my wife, I said, you know, I'm going to take a me day. Sometimes you just got to take a me day, and I've took one. I didn't feel like working today. So I've actually fished a little bit, and we're going to hit these goat challenges up. Less 86, how's it going over on over on Twitch, bro? I see you over there. All right, let's welcome everybody in. Who we got over on the YouTube? Got Dad's a psycho in the house. I'm already in mod chat, Dad, if you want to pop in there, bud. Um, you're on early morning server. I'll be joining on you right now. Get that booted up. We got James Payne, Tangles, James Ray. How's it going, everybody? Good to see you guys. Let's catch some golds. Normally I'd say let's catch some dimes, but you know what? If we do catch some dimes, that's okay too. Although, you know, I did the same thing, Dad. Same thing I did on the grass carp and the, and the mirror carp. I got the gold spotted bass gear challenge out of the way and forgot to switch the daggone line. And guess what? I hooked into like almost 10 pound diamond spotted bass. <laughs> and I had to fight that thing on that small line after I'd already done the gear challenge. And I was like, why didn't I switch my line again? I just like the pain. I like the pain. Is your boat still in that pond? Uh, well, I kind of made a video this morning and showed how to push it there, so it's kind of like halfway. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I caught, I, I'm just, I just went ahead and did a, a spotted diamond bass, uh, diamond guide and threw the whole boat thing in the video too, a little bonus footage. And so, yeah, no, it's not in the pond right now. <clears throat> But right now, what I'm doing is uh, this purple labeo gear challenge too. Anybody out there? This is the only known diamond location for them. But I'm telling you, I believe you can get one right. Uh, I think you can get one right here. I think you can. You might even be able to get one here. There's got to be more than one location, I would think. Yeah. Well, this sounds promising. Already, right off the business. 50% drag and it's taking my line out like that. 55% drag now. And I'm using eggs, so this shouldn't be anything. Yeah, that's pretty much. Shouldn't be anything messing with me, cause I was using what is it, uh, red worm. red worm, and the cart wouldn't leave me alone. Yep. So I, I switched to eggs. We're on five point five one pound line, so hoping to get get the. Ooh, there's one floating around right there too, right in front of me. Be casting your way right here in a minute, bud. In early access, I don't know if you guys remember, I caught two or three golds right here, like really quickly. Yeah. Well. I like to knock a bunch of these gold challenges out. Yeah, I just took a me day. today 
Took me a mayday. Haven't lifted a finger. <laughs> Other nice, huh? Yeah, I know. Other than uh, like working on some videos and stuff. Right there's another one right in front of us. Another reason I'm doing purple labayo is I picked the challenge up for it. Yeah, I finished all mine a little while ago. Your gear challenges? Everything. I got a thousand rep now. Oh, man, I'm jealous. What was the hardest one? Hit me with it. Probably the smallmouth yellowfish, to be honest, because of everything else that was biting. I kept getting a largemouth, and then out of nowhere, a gold smallmouth bit. Oh, this one's taking more slack than the last one. That thing was... Man, that was, that was yeah, a one. Yeah, the smallmouth, I'll probably go back to that one after this because I tried on it yesterday and couldn't get it, if you all remember. So if I get this goat challenge, I'll probably do the smallmouth. Well, I will clarify a little bit. What you're doing right now was right up there with that because before I did the gold challenge for the uh, purple abeo, I was catching gold left and right. Once I started the challenge, <laughs> it's like they all dried up. Yeah, it's like it knows. Uh, I'm actually in here fishing for mirror carp. <laughs> I don't even, I hope another purple labeo never bites my line ever again. Sure be a shame if a goat or better bit my line. I'd hate that. You know what show me and my wife are hooked on right now on Netflix? What's that? Suits. Have you ever watched Suits? I actually know, but I was getting real, real close to starting to watch that. I saw the previews to it, and it looks pretty good. Dude, it's so good. Now, it's no Prison Break. Prison Break's the best show ever made. But it's... Yeah, I like that it, one. It, it's, uh, it's up there. It's up there. I really like it. It's one of those that when you get done with each episode, you want to see what happens next, you know? Yeah. I kind of get hooked on shows that end on cliffhangers. Like, some shows, you can pick up any episode and you didn't have to watch the episode before. Yeah. But I, because they're kind of like their own show, like each one. I like the ones that you don't want to miss anything like it's all connected yeah you got to see the one before to understand what's going on yeah everybody like my elbow where's my bait at oh down here it is somewhere oh i see it now here's my question when I was going for the Red Nose uh, location challenge, I don't mm -hmm. know if it was one or two, but it was the one that was up here. In the river? Yeah. The one that was uh, up here. Dock? Not by the not by the fast travel. The one that's up here. No, the one that's north of that. There's a dock by an island. Right. Like a big island. Right here. Right here is where it's at. When I was doing this one, I was catching purple labeo like crazy. Yeah. But I was going for red nose. And I'm just wondering if if you can get goads and diamonds of purple labeo there. Is what I'm wondering. It's not in the Discord. It's not it's not nobody's reported it. But I was catching them left and right when I was trying to get that red nose. Yeah. I've caught a bunch in there, but I've never gotten a dime anywhere near that for a purple. Well, where I'm at right now is supposed to be the only spot you can get them so yeah. far that's been reported. Anyway. What missions should I do to get rep quick on Spain? All of them. Yeah, I mean. If you want the rep, you got to do all of them. Yeah, he's probably wanting the 500 for the Citro del Rey. Oh. Uh, do the story missions. I will say do everything but the gear missions and you'll you'll get there. Yeah, do... Do the story missions. 
and uh, then you know do the location challenges, and uh, I got you covered because uh, right here, right there is all the location challenges, and I think that's in my Discord somewhere. I know I've got a video on it out there, so that shows you where all the fish are. So yeah, you did that thing for Spain. You had a, that was a massive thing you put together. Yep. So I would say the location challenges and main story missions, and you probably won't even have to do the gear missions if all you're wanting is 500 rip. But now yeah, I didn't have to get that rod. Yeah, but now like this right here, catch a gold rank or higher on such and such line. If you do that stuff together on Spain, because there's actually challenge location challenge threes, and that puts a guaranteed gold spawn there for you at that mission location. I still regret not listening to you about that. Yeah, so if you want to get the full 1,000 rep, that's what you want to do. It'll save you a ton of time. But I've got a guide out there if you want to watch it. <laughs> I didn't put the challenge threes on this map. We just put the challenge twos on this map. What's up, Split? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Just out here, I'm trying to get these gold challenges done. What we got left that we need? I did the uh, small ball. Get uh, small wild bass gold challenge and got me uh, another diamond that exactly tied my other one. Six weight and everything. Oh, really? I have 10. I have 10 gold gear challenge twos left to get. Crash just got his small mouth bass diamond finally. Where's Crash at? Uh, he's in that lake. Remember, I told you where you, the only place that I know you can get a smallmouth bass diamond. I mean, right is he by that mouth of that river? Is he in chat? He's on. I don't know if he's in chat. I mean, I've been chatting with him on Discord, and we, we've been playing pretty much the whole week yeah. <laughs> together. Good, good. <laughs> yeah, today I'm just. I didn't work any yesterday. The only thing I did yesterday was go and get the lumber, and today I had every. My intention today was to get a and measure and cut all my plywood cut all the windows out all that stuff have it ready to just take up the hill and then i was going to take it up the hill tomorrow but you know it's real it rained and my four-wheeler trail is a little sketchy as it is i don't like you know it's pretty steep and i'm gonna be strapping wood to it and getting it up the hill and i'm just like you know i want it to be dry when i take it up there and now that the time change and everything, the, even, the we got more daylight in the evenings, so I'm going to find me some pretty days to get up there. It's 40 degrees and ground saturated, and I said, I'm not working outside today. I'm just going to take the day off. Man. I'm gonna fish over here on this side. I hate ads. I don't. That's how I make money. Timbo. I get a percentage of that. Are you saying you want me to not not get a single penny? You hate me, Timbo? Is that what you're saying? I feel like that's what you're saying. Paraphrased a little bit. We got to make money somehow, bud. I 
I gotta get my eight cents from you watching that ad, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is more red nose than purple, but we'll see. Are you still there? I'm sorry. Yeah. What did I cut out? I hear you. Can you hear me, Dara? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I had a phone call come in, so it kind of wasn't sure what it messed up. Is it eight cents per ad? Oh, I don't know. I was just being facetious. I don't know what it is. Also, subs don't have to watch ads. Just saying. What's up, Easy Nuke? Nuke? Easy Nuke? Nuke? Mister? Hello together. This is Diamond Spot. Caught mine here. Purple Labeo. Oh, right here where I'm at. Yeah, this whole river. Well, not the whole river, but this area. <clears throat> Let it float down the middle again. I usually stand on those rocks a little bit down from the dock, and you can literally cast straight out, and it will coast down. You know, you let it go about 150 feet down the river right there. Ooh, right, right here's a nice one. Look at that one. Dang. I mean, Ooh. it's probably a silver. Go ahead, Mike. Say it. <laughs> Why is it not going for my... Because I reeled in. It's going for where it was. Now it'll turn around and go after it where it's at. I think. It looks pretty good sized. Why is it not going after it? Huge! Is it is it too small to go after it? Is it just you got a six with eggs, huh? Yeah. That the bronze bite that unless it's a juvenile. I There's no way that thing like Mike said that thing's huge. Yeah, that's throw a red worm on real quick and do it again. He might be wanting red worm right now. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's probably wanting a red worm. If you leave it in long enough, it'll it'll come over. Nice I've easy nook. Godzilla's toenail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me reel this silver in. Bronze! Mike, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> okay, Mike, I'm going to give you your 500. <laughs> nice easy nut glad you got that rip out of the way bud you know they are acting like they don't want the um, 
I found that with them things, man. I would just, they would ignore the eggs. I'd throw the red worm on until the carp started biting them, and then I'd go back to the eggs. Fine, then. We'll do all the things you want to do. I, look. <laughs> he might need to push. Here's your, your show. I'm just a guest. <laughs> He might need to push a boat there to make sure he doesn't get pulled in. <laughs> Come oh, on. you're on an early morning server? I'm at 1400. What's a better time for them? Do you know? Like I caught mine in the middle of the night. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 642 is my server. Did you join me? I don't think so. I think I'm uh I think I'm on single player. Oh. There's a cart. Daggone cart. Alright, I'm joining you. Cause they do bite pretty much all night and then through the middle part of the day. Water temps stay pretty good in that area consistently anyways. Through most of the day. What rock is it that you like to get on? If you go look to your right, yeah, and go off the dock. See all those rocks over there? Yeah. You can go stand in the water on those rocks, and you kind of bypass the whole dock system. You can just let the thing float down. Yeah, you see those rocks way over there straight out in front of you? That's where I normally stand, and it, you can let the bait just float all the way down the river past the dock. Like right here? Oh. Yeah, look off to the... Yeah. You'll see a couple that are kind of just below the water. Yeah, that's where. Yep, up on those rocks and just cast straight out. Let it float down. Yeah, I figured the red nose is going to be tough. Thank you, Gaz. Appreciate you, bud. I didn't like the red nose location challenges. I can imagine the gear challenge. I don't know, man. I don't. Well, I guess everybody's server, you know, their populations are different, I guess. But I didn't find that one all too bad. The purple was a pain, that's for sure. Please don't be a car. Well, the purple is what I'm doing. I will say this, though. That thing I told you about having to, you know, go to another fish for a little while and come back. I still did that today, finishing up. Hmm. That's a red nose. Yeah, I caught a few there. Nothing bigger than a silver, though, I don't believe. Uh, it looks like you meshing in my server at the right time, it looks like. Oh, we're getting bats. Just don't be a carp. We need a cut the line reward. I feel you. Okay, here we go. 
All right, this might be a good one. Wow. Okay. Oh, I got you. There's a purple labeo. Okay. Uh, thanks I'm for that follow. How do I say that name? X I L I T Y. What's happening, R. Lewis? Thanks for the follow there. Lewis, what's up, bud? He's got to tell you his story from today. <laughs> Wrong every time. <laughs> What, what'd you do, Lewis? Just say gaming. <laughs> I got you, bud. Gaming. Uh, what record did you break this time, Lewis? Well, it was kind of a funny situation. I don't know if he wants me to tell you or not. I mean, it's no big deal. It's just, it was hilarious. <laughs> There's a purple Leveo. This might be my biggest catfish I've ever caught. I haven't got it in yet, but it's, man, it's running line on me. <laughs> Gaming, I came to watch your stream because you're in my server. Over on Twitch. Easy Nook on YouTube says, for me, if the fish was not pulling slightly away, I cut the line because it's only silver. Oh, yeah. Well, for me... Catch those silvers and a diamond might spawn yeah. back in its place. Exactly. That's catch as many silvers as you can for me. That's. Oh. You can tell him, Dad. It's tell a, you. okay. Yeah, go ahead. What's that? He uh, he was. <laughs> we were fishing earlier, and he was fishing for catfish, and he pulled in a seventy-six point something pound catfish. Yeah. Literally. Two minutes earlier, they just changed over King of the Catch to Catfish, so it counted towards it. Oh. 76, I don't remember the exact poundage. He could probably type it in for you, but. So they had already changed it. This has got yeah, to be like a cart. A couple minutes before he caught it, literally a couple minutes before he caught the fish. And <laughs> so I'm assuming it was the first uh, submission. And it was 76 something pounds, which is huge. Yeah, 76.15. 76, 76.15. 76, well, that's bigger than mine, I think. I wasn't sure. I knew you had a 76, didn't you? But so, I didn't know. Yeah, mine was 76.06. .06. Yeah. But yeah, he literally checked and they had just changed it over to King of the Catch. So <laughs> I was like, I need his luck. I really do. So Easy Nook says, but that's for me is not right. One can come and catch the dime first. Oh, yes. Oh, you got your uh, catfish diamond, huh? 71. Well, I, I, had it. I had a catfish diamond already, but that one's this bigger. one is a bigger one. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's actually 6.74 pounds bigger. It's 71.64 total. Easy Nook, the way it works is it's random. You might have a diamond there. You might not. And if you don't have a diamond in your spawn, then catching other silvers and bronzes is what causes them to spawn in. Nice. Catch, Dad. Man. That's my biggest one. Like, I have some diamonds on my map that I've not caught. Like, you're just like in the Hunter Call of the Wild. When you have a map, uh, it randomly generates animals on that map for you. And some of them are diamonds. You just don't know which ones they are. You might have two whitetail diamonds out there. You might have three. You might have uh, half the species on your map might be, you know... Five, you might have five diamonds of different animals on your map when it's randomly 
you know, but if they aren't randomly generated on your map to begin with, then you have to kill the smaller animals and kill enough of them to cause one to spawn in. Same thing with fishing. You have to catch the silvers, catch the bronzes, if you don't have a diamond already in there, and cause it to spawn in. Now this one could be my gold. Or not. It's a 5.43. Which we're using a 5.51 pound line, so anything close to that five pound range is going to be tough. <laughs> Last night I pulled in a 13.88 pound catfish on 4.41 line going for the eel challenge. <laughs> you getting a bite that right now? Fight. I heard you get a bite. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I forgot. It picks it up when uh It picks it up when you talk. I only hear it when you talk. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing these gold gear challenge twos in uh, groups of four. So every four that I get, I just I put four fish in a video to keep it shorter, you know. Yeah, I saw the one you put out earlier. I think that's members only right now. So you you've seen it, but I don't know that everybody has. There's a modeled eel diamond. Yeah. Pontiac. Yeah, that's a good size one too. Pontiac, somebody. Is he over by uh, Fricky's dock? Nope. That's where I looked first, but I bet that's him. Right there. Right here. He caught one. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's where I got mine. Well, I mean, he's between. He's not exactly on the dock. You know. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. I thought he was at the dock itself. Okay. No, he's. Yeah, I see. So I have to put a marker there. Yeah, so probably all along this river, probably, but for sure there. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put a marker there for sure. That was a pretty good size eel. Gave up on the purple labayo challenge. Yeah, it's almost a fifteen pounder. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's uh, the, does anybody know what the record for the spotted bass is on this map? Spotted bass? Ooh, no, I don't. Is it north of ten pounds? Oh, I honestly don't know. I'd have to look it up. I really. I know R. Lewis has got the smallmouth bass record at like seven pounds something. Oh, okay. I don't know what the spot it is, though. I played this game 1.3k hours, too, but that rule I never followed and still got my dimes. I think that game is not that simulation-like. It's more RNG-based. Oh, is it 11-something? Well, R. Lewis, you have, like, every record out there. What do you think about it? <laughs> R. Lewis, do you think it's a good idea to cut the line on silvers, on fish that you think are silvers, or do you think it's better to just catch them? And do you think catching a bunch of silvers causes a diamond to spawn in, or was the easy nut here says he cuts the line on silvers and still gets his diamonds? So, what do you think? I'm just sitting here thinking... If you've got 30 fish swimming around in a body of water, for example, if you don't catch one of those 30 fish, then you still have the same 30 fish swimming around in that body of water. That's what I'm saying. Those, yeah, the population isn't going to change. They're grow, not going right? to change unless you make it change. 
Yeah, I don't agree with cutting the line either. Easy Nook, you got your diamonds, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you would have caught more had you not cut the line on the silvers. Yeah, because I've definitely you, you, fished areas you, you, that did yeah. not have a diamond. You <laughs> may not agree with me on that, and that's fine. But just saying. And Jaxie said, too, that your population follows you um, no matter what server you're on. So... I'm just saying, if you got 30 fish swimming in a body of water, it's going to be that those same 30 fish until you catch them and make a change. Unless they have implemented some type of way of the hunter where the fish get bigger with age. Oh, he's doing it. He's only doing it for the challenges, not every day. Said I cut the line for the challenges. But, but you said you still got your dimes. We're not yeah. trying to catch dimes for challenges. Jaxie also said temperatures were a dead end. Yeah, but he retracted that later on. I'll stay out of that conversation. I got you, Mike. I don't cut my line. I want to be paid no matter what the rank is. <laughs> Where's my fish at? That must have floated way downstream. I normally let it. I open the bale and just let it float all the way down to that curve down there. And it'll get a bite somewhere along there. Yeah. Cast this one. I'll usually get a bite. I can't say every time. I don't think it bothers me about the whole temperature thing is that I know I had people that were mad at me over it. People left my channel over it. I feel like I got slandered a little bit. So... But that's okay. I knew it worked and kept doing it and kept catching them. It definitely paid off. Yep. Eight hot dog, Darth. <laughs> What's up, Mix? How's it going, buddy? I bet if it had been some other uh, big name streamer that was doing the temperature thing that would have been said about it. What about the temperature? Uh, this. That actually helps because you know temps will get a little colder, right? So you'll know like some areas if it's a low temp fish where you should be looking. You'll notice where we are here, the way the splits are if you work on your temps. So. It kind of, you know, that's the temps are really just going to show you where you can possibly catch a dive. It's not going to tell you anything else. I can't believe I just did that. What did you do? <laughs> my controller, I leave it laying on my leg while I'm waiting for a bite. And it and vibrated off? <laughs> well, I, I shifted as soon as it got a nibble and it hit the trick, you know, the strike button and it, I missed the fish. <laughs> Gaming, I just pushed my boat 1,000 feet so I can catch spotted bass. 
Oh, yeah, it is. It is. You can catch a lot by doing that. Because you can only reach so far out uh, casting if you walk around the edges. And you can, there is a little trick to pushing it, too. You can get pretty good at pushing it. Did I see another diamond, or was that a different? I thought I saw the uh, word diamond there. Ooh, this might be my gold. Well, you're right out in the water right now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I think I'm into another decent one now. Will you just go ahead and catch all the big fish up, Arlo? It's fine. Just go ahead. Catch them all up. He said that to me earlier, and that's when he pulled in that 76.15. <laughs> yeah. I guess he was in the one. Caitlin's was, was like 76.89, but then someone beat hers. I, uh, I think someone, someone got in the 77s, I think. Really? Yeah. I wonder if they're going to max out at 80. Or if they're just going to stay at that 77. 77.15 77 is record. So you're one pound off, Lewis. Lewis won't sleep. He won't sleep until he beats it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I think he's got more records than anybody right now. Oh, yeah, I'd say he does. I might have my gold right here. Because I switched to eggs. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a, a labelle of, a, of one or the other. Oh, if it's a red nose, it's definitely a gold or better. Because they're a little bit smaller than the purples. Yeah. If it's a red nose, it's a dime. Oh. <laughs> this was only 68.29 down. Is that all it was, R. Lewis? Uh, that's a that's a gold purple labeo, baby. Right oh, there. Nice. Stream marker this. Yeah. Well, like I said, I found that to be one of the tougher ones, so it's good you got that knocked out. All right, so now we got to pick another gear challenge to knock out. What all you got left? Um, I've got nine left. Well, what time of day is it? Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the African shark tooth catfish gear challenge. Yeah. Or should I caught a couple of golds and a diamond so far. Or should I? This morning. Should I? Or shouldn't I? I did that. I got all the big ones done first, and then I went for the small ones. I don't know. I don't know, man. Man, I imagine, I imagine that canary carp would be tough, too, because all them other carpers would be biting on that line, snapping you. I Man, I went to that island, you know, in that little pond right there, and, man, I got I got that gold one knocked out quick with those things. Ooh, the African tiger fish. Oh, wait, we said we were going to do the smallmouth. Am I still set up for that? Well, I mean, the smallmouth is, like, 5.30 to 6.30 seems to be the ideal time for that thing as water temperatures went off. You might still be able to get it. Well, I'm going to have to go get a new reel anyway. Did you say it's bad temps right now? Well, it's at the borderline. 
around this time I start catching the blue kerper there instead of the smallmouth. But early, like 5.30 to 6.30 is when they really, the smallmouth really bite good there. And it might just be a coincidence, but that's what it seemed like when I was doing the gear challenge. Plus, I did get my dime there doing the gear challenge again. I tell you what, Mike has has stuck with me this whole time. And even though he bullies me all the time, I'm going to go for catfish because that's what Mike wants me to do. So I'm, I'm going for catfish. I'm in that lake right now. For catfish? Yep. All right. So I can relax and fish for whatever now. Was that 33 pound line? 33. Yep. 33 pound line. Yeah. Oh, God. Bottom feeding rod. 33 pound line. <clears throat> Pure champion. That's what we need to we use that. Well, I haven't used that one in a long time. <laughs> Do we have a 33 pound oh right there oh i think we're good i remember when the pure champion was the go-to <laughs> the big dog yeah <laughs> all right but the liver 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 stock up six stock up six on our diamond. on our baits in the dinosaur pond what canebrake said he caught six canary kerper diamonds in the dinosaur pond yeah I've I... seen people up there but I've never gone to it yeah I reckon you can that might be where I go for my challenge like right here where this dude's at right there I don't know. I can't remember if you can fish in that one or not. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Catfish. Yeah, I've never fished that little pond in there. Great spot. I to try it out. Heck, I got my back to back canary curfer diamonds at the uh, main dock. What size hook for gold yellowfish gear challenge two? Uh, large mouth or small mouth? Yeah, I would say that. Small mouth generally a three is decent. A large mouth. So a one. they have put in the temp thing. Zane, um, people were trying to say temps didn't matter for a while. And then a bunch of us were catching fish at temperatures and learned how to use temperatures with the water depth and everything. And then Jaxie did confirm after later that temps do matter to help you find diamonds. Sounds like you still got people not believing it though, even after he did that. Oh, I'm still waiting for some apologies that have never come. <laughs> But that's all right. Well, I've been with you since day one on that one. Well, I told some friends that were trying to tell me about temperatures that they didn't work and stuff. And I, and I basically just said, look, you all can tell me they don't work all you want, when I know they do, you know, as I'm reeling my diamonds in and you're telling me they don't work, <laughs> I know better. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have videos on the temperatures and how they work. Now you're going back to where you caught yours, huh? Yes. I want to start off with a size one.
Oh yeah, I know they work. I had no doubt the whole time. I was that's what I was trying to tell everybody that was telling me that they didn't work. Yeah, but you remember back in when they started all that, Jaxie was very adamant about it not being anything to worry about. So everybody got on that bandwagon. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it made me look uh, like I didn't know what I was talking about. Well, like I said, I was with you. <laughs> it definitely worked for me. Yep. What's up, Dolan? How's it going, bud? You're not on your own on this, North. Oh, I know. There's a bunch of us that knew temps mattered the whole time. I guess I'm just the guy they didn't want discovering it. <laughs> just got off work. Oh, that makes it even better. Fishing time. Time to kick back. Wet a line. And forget all the troubles. Or get stressed out because you can't get this dime or that dime. And... <laughs> Uh-oh, we're getting a bite. 33 pound line trying to catch a gold tiger, uh, tiger fish, a gold, um, tooth. <laughs> tipsy was calling it sawtooth the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Soft tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they add temps if they didn't matter? I don't know. That's what I asked a long time ago. I'm tired of talking about it, though. I mean, if people still don't believe, then they can keep casting in water hose with no diamonds in it for all I care. Well, that's what, all, what <laughs> they just, whoever just said that. That's what I, I couldn't understand. Why put it on the main catch screen if it had no factors? You know, it, that's what always blew me away. Well, I even did videos on like, look here, I can tell you where to cast and get coder temp. Cause I ha also had people tell me that it was just a fake number, the temperatures, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like the, that yeah. it didn't mean anything. It was just a just randomized random number. number. And I was like, well, how come I can predict that if I cast over here, then it will be a warmer temperature. Right. And they didn't have an answer for that. So how's your hunting blind doing? I never touched it today, Crash. I took a day, I took a me day, a red breast diamond, cane break, I've not targeted them yet. Uh, I caught mine at the main dock, at the main outpost. I've heard you can catch okay. all three at the main outpost, yeah. Yeah. The but you know, catch was the blue purple but that there. gear challenge too, if a person were to try to do it there, right, on that one pound line for that canary, I just imagine those blue curpers and... And red breast would just drive you crazy snapping your line. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I did the canary somewhere else. Well, what it was, Crash, is um, I haven't really worked on any videos or editing or anything. And I hadn't touched my YouTube enough this week. And I told my wife, I said, I've got to get caught. So I did some editing this morning. But... Uh, also, it was just like a 40 degree wet day outside. And I just didn't want to be, you know, working out in that. And still not feeling the best. And I have to strap these walls that I've made. They're like seven foot by eight foot walls that are already put together. And I have to strap them to the front of my rhino to keep all the weight on the front of my rhino so that I don't flip backwards going up my steep mountain, my road. So I have to be very careful on how I balance things. And I don't want a wet road doing that because it's dangerous enough as it is. So I want it to be dry. So I just said, you know, I'm just going to take a me day edit some videos me and my wife were watching suits which is an awesome show red breast diamonds don't exist 
Caden, <laughs> <laughs> how's it going, buddy? Go ahead and ask me, Caden. I know what you're going to ask. Hey, can you unblock me? What's up, Johnny Crow, bro? You inspired me, bro, for my video that's going to come out probably tomorrow. I might mention your name a few times on it. Purple Labeo don't exist. You know, Doan, in early access, I went to that dock. I can't remember if it was Challenge 1 or 2, that little dock on the river there. And I caught like three gold purple Labeo. And I remember thinking in, in early access, I was like, oh, this is going to be the easy dime to get. <laughs> And now when the official game comes out, I have one, one gold purple labeo. So I understand. I had four <laughs> nine purple labeo last night. Well, R. Lewis, um, you sleep with a fishing pole in your hand, buddy. No, 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 you don't. You don't sleep. Let's just put it that way. I'm now at 13 diamond spotted bass. I might even mention that in, uh, in, in my video, Johnny Crow. I might even mention that. So you might have to watch tomorrow's video. I didn't make fun of you too much in it. I've had about seven of them, Darth. Well, Split, you can bite me too. <laughs> Far Cry 5. Oh, I got you. All right. Pooch! I watched him get one just before I got one. Well, Mike, you can bite me too. Welcome in, everybody. We're all lovely and friendly over here. Gray Jedi, how's it going, buddy? And when I said that he could bite me, I meant that in the most nice way possible. Yeah. Thanks for doing karate in you. my garage, Corvette Jim. I appreciate you. Ooch, tell me what you got. Tell me, tell me about your 17 diamonds you just caught. Climbers, doing that karate in the garage. Thanks, bud. Look at the red breast gold curpers. I couldn't catch a one the other night. We got farming CM23. How's it going? You need some coaching again, bro? Hey, I'm doing what you did, what you said. I started out with a uh, one hook mix, and then I caught a few, and now I went up to a, a one alt. He just likes being mean to me at Pooch. Mike, I'm fishing for catfish because you asked me to. You sit on a throne of lies. Look. Only two today. First mogul and catfish, but I did finish the eel gear challenge as well. I hear that's a tough one. That's one. I need nine of the gold gear challenges done. I have nine left to do. We just did the. What I just do? Purple Labeo. We just did the Purple Labeo. And I got the Spotted Bass one done today after pushing the hey, John, John boat. Oh Let my God. Liquid. You scared me to death, bro. How's Liquid doing? So we're we're trying to get us a, uh, a gold catfish on a 33 pound line. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Amy the Huntress, you got your canary curper. Sweet. Oh my God. Mike. Why you got to fake me out like that? Huh? There you go. Outstanding. Use wafters. Oh, I can do that. I was getting ready to cut my line anyway. Let's see. Wafters. There we go. Oh, I mean for the wheel, uh, the eel. Uh, you know what? Do they even... You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it on a catfish. 
We've already casted it. Could be a happy accident. Man, they're tearing up the red breast curper golds right now. Where are they where are they catching all these at? Sheba and Ghost, right? So right there and here. The red breast curper. That's where the dinosaur is. Corvette Jim, thank you so much. Wait, you're telling me those aren't called wafers? I was it demonic biscuit that was that uses them in Wisconsin said they're called white wafters. Demonic uses them in real life. He says they're called wafters. I don't know. Isn't that how it's spelled in the game too, isn't it? Wafter? Yeah, but it, you know, it could be that silent T because the English language is insane. <laughs> Words be hard. Johnny, nobody likes you. Stop it. Those of y'all that just come in over on Twitch, uh, we have YouTube and Twitch going on at the same time, so you're probably wondering who I'm yelling at here. Congrats, Johnny. Just joking. So Johnny Crowbros caught his 14th spotted bass. Um, I might have a little video coming out about Johnny's little technique tomorrow. Uh, I may have stolen the idea off him. And so there might be a little video about that tomorrow coming out, but... Uh oh. If I get my challenge done, I'm naming this catfish Pooch. Because he accidentally told me to put white wafters on. But he thought I was talking about eel. Is that a bane for subs at Darslunk? Crap! Liquid, I do have to eat a bean. All right, after we, you know, give me about 30 minutes to get this catfish in and I will spin the wheel and we'll eat a bean. Give me 30 minutes to get this catfish in. Yeah. <laughs> that is the only bad thing about it, man. It's so deep. Yeah, I know. That's the only thing I don't like about fishing for them is because of that. It takes forever to reel them in. I know. Like I've pumped and pumped and I gained two feet just then. Ugh. <sighs> You made Pooch eat three beans last night. The masked moon wolf. Well, the way mine works, does it say that? It don't say that down there anymore, does it? Oh, well. Oh, I need to fix that. I just realized that. So it takes a level six hot train to get me to eat a reaper. And then, Man. then I almost die. <laughs> <laughs> level two hype train completed starts me on the hot beans level three goes up to jalapeno level four goes up to whatever the next one in you know five six six is the hottest one <sighs> carolina reaper yeah but that's on hype trains um I'm on YouTube. It's a different different for YouTube. Like every hundred dollars on YouTube, we're at thirty nine dollars right now. Causes me to eat spin the wheel, which could be a reaper. I got three dimes while he was streaming. He was eating a bean a bean per viewer catching a dime while on his server. Oh yeah, nice. You know what? Hold on. That was still a silver. What, what? I always had no trouble catching them before. Liver. Liver. Liver's always been my go-to for them. That's too deep. Too deep.
Yeah, that works for me. What's up, Stan Cables? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I gotta spin the wheel and see what kind of disgusting bean we're eating here. Stinky socks. Tootie fruity or stinky socks. All right, here we go. It's disgusting. <laughs> I think I've, I think I just got a little bite of athlete's foot. <sighs> Crusty, salty, sweaty ball socks. <laughs> nom nom nom. Mm. <laughs> he finally found a fish that loves him. Nobody, nobody loves you, Johnny. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Gray Jedi got two world records now. Nice. You're doing great. Luckily, not eating any stinky socks. <laughs> well, that's true. Like, I want to know the percentage. There is no way that this is 50 50. There's one of them. I think it's cappuccino and liver and onions. I think I've only ever gotten cappuccino twice. There is no way it's 50 50. Darren Smith, thank you so much for doing karate in the garage over on YouTube. Thank you so much, bud. Till Tackle Tuesday happens, then they will hate you. That's the way it happens, gaming. That's exactly the way it happens. See, what happens is you win your first season of Tackle Tuesday. And then you try to repeat as champion and you come out gun swinging and you win the first week and it looks like you're going to repeat. And then you're doing pretty good and consistent. And then you spend like a bunch of time in the hospital and you have two weeks in a row and you suck it up. That's what happens. Sorry if that sounds a little specific. I just coincidentally just made that story up in my head. Not talking about anyone in particular. Pooch somehow managed to flute the nice flavor most of the time. Nice. I'll get the shovel. <laughs> no, that's Crow's job. That's your brother's job. He gets the shovel. Tells everybody how bad he's going to miss me. Time you live tomorrow? I don't know. I really have to work on my deer blind tomorrow. So... I'm not sure what time... Now, I know Sunday will be 8 o'clock. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Got a big one? Yeah. Like, I don't know if I... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in. Take your time with it. You don't think it'll spool me? I, well, I mean, it could, but those things usually wear out pretty quick. Well, gaming, I think it's a gold, but you got to remember, I'm only using 33-pound line. 
So it's going to look bigger than it is because I'm using smaller line. But I think I am wearing it out. It's either a gold or like the biggest silver out there. All right, climbers. Thank you so much, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> Remember KPD. That's right. That's right. Me channel my inner KPD. Strap in for this hour and four minute fight here. Yeah, okay. that better not take an hour to get this one. 35 pounds silver. I hate you, Johnny. I was going to go with 37. <laughs> Is 37 silver for these things? I think 38. I think. Really? They're that big at silver? Yeah. Yeah, I, I swear I caught one a little while ago. It was like 38 pounds, it seems like, anyways. Dang. Hey, I that think I think spotted bass would be a really good uh Johnny. I think I think spotted bass would be a good uh Tackle Tuesday. Oh, I get, we're taking some time off though, aren't we? Before we officially start the next season. Yeah, you guys need to start Tackle Tuesday with everybody pushing their boats to that pond and then they get to start fishing. This this is true. Like a timer. As soon as you start pushing your boat, the timer starts. <laughs> oh, it's a silver! Ah. <laughs> no. Good things happen when you cast toward Doan. I did, Mike. I changed it to a two alt. Yeah, we got to take a two or three week break to get ready for Bro Bra's. Uh, official dad jokes. Man, he's gonna be a dad any day now, isn't he? Yep. So his dad jokes would be like legit. I'm feeling I'm feeling the roadhouse tonight, guys. Paying your bills. Paying my bills. What? Amy's gonna be a grandma next month. Nice. Congratulations. Johnny cursed you. Johnny cursed me. He probably did. Yes, he did. Uh oh, here we go. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, that one looks pretty big. This, this is a gold for sure. I hope it's... The way that pension's acting, it should be. Uh, I hope. I hope. I hope it's not a diamond that's going to snap me off. That'd be insane if you got another diamond on light line. Is it already tired? Oh gosh, I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> I 
right when last stand kicks in. Oh boy. Can't curse him here though, unless it's a 70 pound dime. <laughs> Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> this is the one time I don't want a 70 pound dime on the line. <laughs> oh God. I'm at 55% tension around y'all. Cut it. Bite me, Liz. I mean, he's only got you out 270 feet. You, you're doing good. I think if I don't do something stupid, which is a great, yeah, just, which is a really good possibility, I may catch this one. And I say, just be patient. Don't don't press your luck too much. Cut the line for the content. Well, I, I really know who my friends are here. On route to show to how to do it. Mix is my personal coach. When he's not in jail. <laughs> Do a poll. I got your pole right here. Catching this catfish with it. Server is full. Sorry, bud. You going to time me out? This would be a good time for a game crash, huh? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. How, how, how have you all noticed today, those of y'all that have gotten to play a lot today, how have you noticed uh, things with the uh, patch? I haven't crashed once today. Oh, really? Yeah, and yesterday I crashed several times. Well, that's good. That's One good time, news. At least it's a step in the right yesterday. direction, which they said they didn't fix yeah. everything, but... At least it sounds like it's a little better. Has anybody heard any of the boy boat no noises today? No, I haven't heard that either. Gold, baby! Mmm, 49 pounder, almost 50 pounder on 33 pound line. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There's the African Sharp Tooth Catfish Gear Challenge Deuce. All right, I got a stream. Now? I got a stream marker this so that there we go. All right. Uh, well, let's look. I kind of want to do the African tiger fish. Fifteen point four three pound line on a spinning rig. Not what I meant to do. You know what? I need to go get the right reel for that. Makes it easier if you match it. Yeah. Makes a big difference. Who needs enemies with friends like yours? I know. I know. Less hides it under the guise of content. <laughs> oh, fifteen point four three pound the br bridge bridgeton. Is that the only one? It's awful slow.
I feel like there's another one. That one. That one's quicker, isn't it? it isn't like six five one quicker than five one? I don't remember the ratios. Uh, rod. Now I gotta get my Halloween rod out. Hey, that's gonna be pushing it. Shake your tail, baby. Wait, do they not sell 15 in braided? Uh, I think that's a floral carbon one. Dang it! Eleven, then sixteen braided. Jerry. All right. It's so nice to be able to fish for these things again without worrying about my line breaking. Dad, watch that video I just sent you. Please tell Darth. Oh, good lord. What is it? I mean, his screen is like spazzing out. Oh, really? Yeah, like bad. Make sure to send that to me. Let me watch it. All right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's awful. And that's still going on. What uh, are you? Are you on, um, see PlayStation or? He's on Xbox. Hmm. He's in, I mean, he's in Discord. He can probably send it directly to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just send it. Send it to me on a message. Yeah, that was awful. Wait, am I using the right bait? He's a five popper. Well, I reel this one in. We'll go from there. Well, I did catch that dime on a six popper, so I mean, it'll work. I just want to. I didn't I just want to eliminate the spotted bass. Yeah. 
I apologize. I didn't even think about that. Did you want to fish where I'm at, or you want to stay where you are? No, I like you know. I like uh, I like this spot right here the best. All right. I just didn't know if you were worried about boat noises. I pulled over here and didn't even ask you. I need to try to get a dime over here. I got one in that spot, but I've been seeing so many people catch them here. Crash caught a couple of them earlier right here. I, I may catch a few here and then come over there where you're at and fish there and let these spawn in, you know? Yeah. Darth seen it, bro. I'll I'll watch it uh, I'll watch it after the stream. Yeah, I'd be furious if that was going on on mine right now. I mean you can't even make out the screen. Uh What gold is the easiest to catch in there for the mission? Lucius Day mission. If I'm not mistaken, it was largemouth bass for me. Off that dock or something. Right there. There we go. Sure you don't want to come over here? <laughs> <laughs> so what I just caught? Oh, yeah, you got what I'm after, didn't you? Yeah. If I keep casting and not getting bites, what are you using? Well, I'm cheating because I'm using a minnow right now. <laughs> oh, you yeah. You can't use a minnow. <laughs> no, I have to use a lure. Normally, though, if they're not hitting the popper, they're hitting the frog. So I'll switch over to the frog. I don't know if I reel this yeah, one in without I, a bite. I rotate the spinner in there every once in a while, too, and they'll hit that for a little bit. Here we go. Warren Dog, thanks so much, buddy. I'm glad you got your 1,000 rep. That's awesome. Do you know what, how big Camizo Barble get? Uh, Mid 30s? What do y'all say? Oh, God, it's been a minute. I don't know. It seems like they're in the mid upper twenties for the most part, but I, there are low thirty ones, I believe. It's been a minute, so I can't remember. Oh, another one. Thirty-seven max is. Yeah. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Mid thirties then. I caught so many of those in dimes. I don't know why I can't remember it. Go dime around 27. Yeah. Top okay. out around 37. Yeah. 
And it's funny, that's probably the most diamonds I've caught on Spain was those Camiso barbels, and I couldn't remember that. <laughs> What's up, Steve B? How's it going, buddy? Over on Twitch, how you doing, buddy? Free law flipper, how's it going? Oh, now it's deciding to come over. All right, I'm going to come to you, Dad. That isn't, they're not bad. I think this is better, like lighter in the evening. Yeah, I think that's when I got mine over there. This is probably a. Let me know if my boat, I'm hoping that they fix that. Let me know if you can hear Don't my boat. About it. If, if it does, I, another goal. That's three. <laughs> you know, what's funny is, is when I was going for the challenge, yeah, it was much harder to get a gold. Yeah. <laughs> that was a 22 pound gold too. Oh my God, your boat. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Do you hear it now? No, you're good. I don't hear you're yours angry. either. So that's good. Yeah. I, I hope they fix that because that was one of the most annoying things. I know. I mean, the crashes were bad, but. I never crashed a lot, but I did crash some. I think consoles had that problem the most. And that's, I mean, like I said, today I haven't crashed. But man, the last few days, I mean, I crashed yesterday with something huge on my line Ugh. when I was doing one of the challenges and no idea what it was. Yeah. Congratulations, Stevie B with the dime ye uh, large mouth yellowfish on the 22 pound line. I bet that was a good fight. Yeah. You can catch, catch it up here in the bend of that river. Is there another spot? I, I don't. I it's the only spot I know be. of that I've seen people yeah. catch diamonds. And what uh, what size hook are you using on these? Right here, I'm doing a two right now for the tiger fish because I did, I just don't want the bronzes bothering me. Right. Because you put a three on there, you'll get bronzes like crazy. Of course, when I was doing the challenge, I was swapping between a three and a four just to get the spawns. Well, that and I was trying to level up my poppers. For some reason, I really never used a four. Man, I'm just not having any luck here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to put a number three popper on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a number two popper. Mix, did you get it figured out, buddy? I see you over there fishing. Yeah, I just saw him pull up. Did you get it figured out? Did cleaning the catch do it? We're all fishermen. We all know how to clean our catch. <laughs> My dad joke of the day. 
<laughs> Proud of myself. Thunder Gunner over there on the bridge fishing. Man, normally when I fish for these tiger fish, they're biting like crazy. What is going on here? Uh, I know. I'm telling you, dude, the gear challenge. <laughs> I think they turn the percentages down or something because it really changes how they spawn and what you get. Yeah, but I've had this gear challenge. I'm not even tracking it. How does it know I'm doing it? You know, I've had this. I love I've had this gear challenge picked up. Well, when I caught my diamond, I had the gear challenge picked up. First thing I did was pick up all the challenges. Me too. And I'm telling you, it's, a, you know, I know it's a coincidence and I'm just, you know, being superstitious or whatever, but man, every one of these things was so hard to get the gold. But when I wasn't trying for the challenges, man, I was getting them constantly. I mean, I got 170 golds on this map already. Should I be fishing closer to you guys over there? I just saw all the diamonds caught kind of like straight off from the uh, travel spot up there. You know, the point of interest. Yeah. That's where I've seen most of the diamonds caught was right by that. So that's kind of this whole area right here. I was freaking out because you know how I left my boat in that pond where I pushed it all the way over there? Yeah. I saw that patch in the update this morning. Oh. And I was like, no, it's going to reset, reset my boat. But it didn't. My <laughs> boat was still there. Wow. So I was like, yes. And I ended up catching my diamond there before I moved it. <laughs> that would have stunk, man. I know. <laughs> After all of that pushing and flipping your boat over and all that mess. Yeah. Car Lewis, 72.57 dime. Okay. I'm not catching anything. What do I need to use? I have to use a lure. I rotated between popper, frog, and spinner. And, and it took a while. Or spoon. <laughs> really I've, not, I've never tried a spoon. I did a spoon, but I wasn't really having that much luck. It seemed like I was doing better with the spinner, but I know the spoon's higher up on that list, so I don't know. Got mine on a three spoon. Well, that's what I'm using right now. Three spoon. Popper's what I've always had no trouble with. But that's usually in the evenings around fourteen, fifteen hundred. Yeah. Usually I can switch between a popper and a frog and have no issues, but whatever reason. Not getting a single bite. Wow. I'm going to switch over to one of those just to see what it's doing for me right now. Cause I really didn't want to because of the, it is my channel. <laughs> it is funny. Why? I got a two popper on. Let's try that. It almost makes me wonder if it's randomized at what they want. Like for you during the same time of the day, same server, they might be hitting on a spinner, but for me, they're hitting on a sp spoon. I don't know. Right. Well, I got a number two popper in right now, so we'll see if I get anything on that. It's just odd because every time I fish for tiger fish before, I've just been reeling them in one after another. Mm -hmm. And it's just like all of a sudden they don't exist on my map. 
I look, I had this talk with uh crash earlier about that, man. It was like the weirdest thing. They matter of fact, R Lewis made a comment that the tiger fish are like rainbow trout. You know what I mean? Like they're the rainbow trout of Africa. Like they're everywhere. The, yeah. They bite constantly. Is there room in your server, Darth? Uh, I, I don't know. Someone said it was full earlier. It must have freed up because Mix joined. I don't know if it's... Ah, I just got a bite. Let's see what it is. On um, what? What are you using? Number two popper. So it's going to be a silver at least. But I was casting away from the bridge, not towards it. Well, I've kind of gone around in a circle this whole time. You yeah, caught another, another gold. gold. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what's your water temperature saying right now? Uh, it requires that you catch a fish to be able to <laughs> know that. So, at me. Where in your Discord is the temp chart? It's down. If you just go down to the angler, and it's <laughs> under the angler somewhere there. Uh oh, got one. Uh oh. Oh crap! Here now. Something big. I don't need one this big. Oh, oh man, I think I've hooked a dime. Oh, please take your time. I don't know if I'll get it in. Like it's going up sporadically. Like it's... Uh-oh. Well, good news is, if I land it, I think this challenge is going to be over. Bad news is, I don't think I can land it. <laughs> because yeah, it's not it braided line. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going... 70% drag. Can't do 70%. Come on. Don't don't snap. Don't snap. Don't snap. Ooh. Getting brave again. Oh boy, yeah, I got really brave. I'm I'm lucky. I don't think it's gonna spool me. I think I've reached that. Yeah. I think I might be able to get it. If I'm not stupid, I might be able to get it. <laughs> Channel your inner KPD. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's at least a gold. Has to be a gold. But I'm thinking it's either a big gold or a diamond. But I think I've got him. As long as I don't get too greedy here. Man, you got tons of lines. So even if he does run a little bit, you're good. No, it's not braided. At, at 2.06, yeah, but, it should spool. I swear... I ran out like 300 feet on that line earlier. I swore it was that. But it's it's 15 pound uh, plural carbon yeah. now. One of those, man, one of those challenges I had, I had the plural carbon on and it ran out 300 feet. I didn't think there was a plural carbon that I would go. I didn't either, but it, it shocked me. I thought 328 was the max for the braided. Oh, silver. Hmm. I think it saw the boat and now it's like, nope. <laughs> I'm not going there. Mix was right, though, man. I've been letting this spoon sink. Yeah. About 25 feet. Yeah, and... that's why I like to fish with the spoon. Yeah, they're, they're definitely biting. Well, I've been using the popper, so it's a floater, you know, so I really haven't messed with doing that, really.
Ooh, wow, I can see it by your boat. Does it look big? It looks big. It does look big. <laughs> yep, gold. There you go. Oh, nice. Get that one out of the way. That wasn't too bad. The amount of line equals what reel you're using. That's too much math, Johnny. Just tell me the answer. Just tell me the answer and don't make me figure it out. I can't think. That was almost a diamond. What was it, like 23 something? Yeah. Yeah, I think dimes are right around 24 because I think Crash got his small one was 24 or something. And then he got a 25 pound one. We have, we have, we have seven. Got seven challenges left. Um, What have I got on me? All right, we have to go go over here. What what I want to go after? If you want some easy one, well, there really isn't any easy ones. <laughs> Well, the smallmouth bass is out because it's the wrong time because you really do need to do that early morning. You did your spotted bass one already? Yeah. I mean, I thought the mogul challenge was pretty easy. 3.31 float fishing. Let's do it. And that uh, cradle of life pond. That was a real, that was pretty easy. Didn't take very long. Oh, that's what the challenge I was doing. I was doing the uh, golden eel gear challenge with the 4.41 line, and I caught that catfish that ran me all the way out to 328 feet. <laughs> that's the one I was thinking of. Dough. All right, where are we doing this at? The cradle of life, you say? Yeah, that south pond. Yep, right there. You can pretty much stand anywhere, but the the bobbers will drift on you all over that thing. What all dimes can you catch out of here? I just saw a curper. I don't know if you can get a dime curper out of there or not. The only thing I know of is the mogul. That's the only one I caught out of there anyways. Nice gaming. All right, how big was this? Let's see over there.
Are you using a six or a five? I'm using a six. Should I use yeah, a five? Five. Well, I mean, it's a silver and up type thing, you know. Five's go there. Right? No, I think five is silver. Seriously. Six. I think six is uh, bronze and five is silver and four is gold. Johnny, you just you made know? my brain hurt. Yeah, five for silvers. Johnny, I have a headache now. <laughs> it's way too much math. He's on vacation. I I taught art, Johnny. Not math. This thing looks big. Let's see if it is. Nope. All right. I know thinner equals more, but I thought that only the braided was thinner. I thought the fluorocarbon was thicker. It is, but the lighter the line, the thinner it is, you know. Oh, I got you. The 4.4 is a lot thinner than the 12 pound, you know? Got you. Oh, Amy's in here now, too. Well, at least Thunder Gunner hung out with me. Everybody else abandoned me. <laughs> <laughs> the Cradle of Life pack right now. Certain reels can carry more in diameter. Oh, okay. Where's my mogul? Mogul. 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 I wish I knew. Now, you don't have to stay on dough. Those things eat a lot of different stuff. I think Red Worm's pretty high on their list, too. Caught one. Yeah. I guess everybody's stuff is just completely random because that's one of the ones that was easier for me to catch. And I was catching them left and right. I'm going to try casting over in this other one. Maybe for me, they're in this pond. You know what I mean? Yeah. Might be. What are you guys fishing with? I'm assuming you're talking about mix and tangles. Yeah. I think that's all that was in the pond with you down there. Uh oh, got one coming. There we go. Five dough? Dang, I can't even get on about a six dough.
Grimes? That was a that was a Brian's. So six. I thought six was silver. No, five is silver. Oh. That's why I was asking if you're doing six or five with your hooks, because uh silver only with fives. I just got the catfish one earlier, Amy. That was a fun fight. And then I just got something else before this. I can't even remember what it was. I thought. Uh, Labeo. Yeah, no. Purple Labeo it, and tiger oh, fish. tiger fish. Yeah, yeah, I've gotten three of them done here. And then tiger I got spotted bass <laughs> before I came on. I know it's an illusion, but man, that thing looks big. Bronze. That bronze, yeah. <laughs> Five red worm, doing it. We were just talking about that, Amy. What's that? These gold challenges, in my opinion, that when, when whenever you're going for them, man, it's like all the goldfish just disappear. I mean, I, I guess I can't complain, though, because, I mean, it only took me two days to get every one of them knocked out, so. Yeah, it's not bad. It, that, it really isn't. And that's not even constantly fishing either, you know, so. So you can catch mogul diamonds here where we're at. Or you can catch them here. You can catch them here or they got this whole square right here. You can catch them. Really? Yeah. Never tried for them down there. I mean, that's not, that's the challenge for one of them right there, isn't it? Uh, I feel like this one is. I think uh, it was a uh, location challenge. Was that that one on that boat ramp at the west side of that lake? I think that was a location challenge right there. Yeah. <laughs> you were pointing at the catfish lake, huh? Yep. Three spots on the catfish lake in there, right here. Really? see if I come into VC. No, Amy, you don't have to ask. Come on in. It's called Mod Chat. You're a mod. Hop on in. You know what? This isn't the pond that they're supposed to be. <laughs> they're supposed to be in this pond over here. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. How's it going? Oh, oh ain't not bad. It's another day in paradise, don't you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good song. And if you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you in Jersey. But. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, everything I catch all comes out silver. I'm like, seriously, where are these things? <laughs> this is a struggle. Like, how many do you have to catch before they give you gold? Or do you have to do a lower hook and try to get a few bronze first? That's probably what you gotta do. Yeehaw. Well, well I'm on an eight hook right now and I haven't caught a single bronze yet. So. <laughs> Go figure. I don't know if this is just coincidence or not, Amy, but I know that when I was doing all those challenges that as soon as they stopped biting, I would just go to another fish for a while and then come back and I would end up getting the gold fairly quickly after that. I would rotate back and forth between different fish, you know, just for a little while here, a little while there. But when I would come back, it seems like I did get goals a lot quicker. Like they respawn back in or something. I don't know, but. And it might just be a coincidence, but I, I, first I, get, I got a thousand reps today, so it did work. Dude. That kicks, man. Oh, there's no, yeah, I, no fast travel point here. Goodness gracious. Now you got to drive. Yeah, that hey, I just get in this boat and shoot across. That's probably your quickest bet. Matter of fact, I'm going to go give it the old college try real quick. Because I got to leave right here in a second. Oh. This looks like a big one. Yeah, it's bigger than what I've been catching. This game has a way of communicating to you that you really can't find your butt with both hands on a map. Yeah. Full size gold. Change what I got on it. Go for the purple labelle for a while. I got that one earlier. I got that challenge done earlier. Purple labelle. I think I'm leaving those fish alone for a while. At, between the uh, diamond and the uh, gold challenge, I'm done with those for a while. <laughs> I don't like the design of the labeo. I think they're very too cartoonish for my liking. Yeah, they kind of do look strange. I've never seen one in real life. That's They might look like that. I really don't know, but they do look kind of strange. All right, last cast. Yeah, famous last words. Yeah. <laughs> pleading the fifth, pleading the fifth, pleading the fifth. <laughs> yeah. I had a dollar for every time I've said that. I uh, be well off. Well, the oh, wife honey, and son are waiting off. on me. They're waiting on me to go to the roadhouse. Well, everybody have a good night. Enjoy yourself tonight, Dar. Yeah, I might hop yeah. back on later. Maybe. I don't know. Well, just give us a holler. Goodness knows. I mean, Great I movie. The new the one or the old yeah. one, Mike? Did, have you watched the new one yet? Mike's like, I'm not watching the new one. 
the new Roadhouse movie. Yeah. I mean, it it wasn't the original, but it was okay. It was it was it, it was different. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like wasn't a great movie. They didn't try to remake it exactly like the old one. No. Oh no, no. They they changed quite a bit of it, but it wasn't too too bad. I mean, as far as movies like that go. But it definitely wasn't the original. Mike's like, like you're not talking me into watching it. <laughs> He's not <laughs> He's he will never he will go to his grave proudly saying, I never watched that movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, guys. Well, I caught one here casting a little further out. I'll have to remember that. All right, who are we raiding? Let's see. No, you're good, Crash. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to raid my boy Rib. I've not raided him in a while. Not not talked to him in a while. He's playing a different game, but I'm gonna gonna raid my boy Reb here. All right, guys. Uh, P not PG. You guys have an awesome Friday. I'll be on hopefully at some time tomorrow. I do have to get some work done on my deer blind tomorrow, so we will see you at some point. Y'all have right, an awesome everybody. awesome weekend Friday. See you guys. Everybody enjoy their evening. You too. Bye, Amy.